Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. We have, right here, a very large pile of what actually looks like manure. Um, and I'm busy walking all over it. Wonderful. I knew there was one. There was a quest over here. I came this way looking for it, and it is this fella right here, Mr. Anthony. And it should be a building quest. Is he going to speak to me? Speak to me. Come on, dude. We'll talk later. No, no, no. I need to talk to you now. Don't go wandering off. Hi, how you doing? Hi. Good morning. What's up, dude? I'm looking for work. Got anything for me? I'm looking for work. Got anything for me? A building on my farm needs some care. What do you think? Mm, I might do it if the price is right. 440 euros. I'm hoping that you've got a fairly quick job for this. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. Right. Uh, check a map for the update. So we did get here just in time. He was just wandering off to go and do something else. So whether or not he's going to come back over here or if he's going to go... No, I think he's going walkabout. That could be a bit of a problem for us when we finish this quest and we want to turn it in. Right. We look around here. This actually should be fairly quick because the roof is looking in pretty good, Nick. So all we got to do is this. We go around and we just got to clean off the rusty metal all the way around. Hang on, there's one thing that I want to see. If I go to, not that one, that one, and then I go on to here. Oh, uh, it won't let me. I've got to do, I've got to repair it. It's not, I'm not, have, I don't have the option to replace it with um, new materials. However, this isn't going to take very long, is it? This, this is going to be through, this is going to be done pretty, pretty quickly. We come through here. And we don't need to worry about the roof, so it's literally just this. I'm going to come down this side, and then we're going to sort of um, go inside. I do have a bit of a cold at the moment. I say a bit of a cold. There's some sort of bug or virus that's going around. I'm not really sure what it is. Um, so, yeah, I'm probably going to have to cut this episode a little bit shorter than I would normally. Um, and we're going to have to take breaks so that I can go and have something to drink periodically. Because, yeah, I've got this sore throat and feeling sort of generally fairly rotten. Um, it's not great. It's really not great. But, you know, it could have been a lot worse. It could definitely have been a lot worse. A lot of people that I know who've got young kids, the same as me, have come off worse for wear. And so I feel that I've escaped quite luckily, really. I, I, I do feel that I've come off fairly fortunate with it. This is the joy of having young children, is that um, they go to school and all their buddies go to school. And so basically you gather up every single germ and bug that is in a 50 mile radius and you get them all coming straight to you so if there's anything going around if there is anything out there you can guarantee that if you're a parent you're going to experience it firsthand it's just one of those things it's just one of those really lucky things that you get to do experience all of these things now uh it's saying that there's still some work to do here i see it not well there's nothing in here all right, let's go outside. There was that little tiny bit in the corner, which indicates to me that perhaps we've got another little bit missing somewhere. Is it on there? No. No, it's not on there. The job's not saying complete. Oh, that's why. It's because this outside bit is not actually done. Oh, I wonder. Is there a... Let's just go in here. Ah, I see. Right. That's why. It's because there's that section there. That's why we have that, um, that piece in there. It was like that tiny little bit in the corner that I did. So we just finish that one, close you, and finish that one there. And it should say done. Dink. All done. Perfect. Quest updated. Repair for Anthony. Check map updated for objectives. Right. He is over here. We've got to go and chase him down now. He's 300 meters away. He's basically, he set us doing the job, and then he's done a runner. So I'm going to go chasing after him and see if I can um, persuade him that fishing is not what he wants to do today. He wants to be talking to us instead. There he is fishing i'm thinking that perhaps i shouldn't have taken a shortcut across the lake because it ends up being quite a long cut across the lake rather than a shortcut sorry dude i may have gotten in the way of your fish what Thank are you, you doing why are you down there you. seriously why are you in the water i know i'm in the water there we go 440 euros 880 social points check map for updated objectives Okay, so the 440 euros is not brilliant. The 880 social points is considerably better, which is, you know, that's, that's all good as far as I'm concerned. It is it's all money, it's all cash, it's all going into the pot to go towards the new tractor that we're after. 
Let's take a look and let's see what else we have got. So we've got a plow the field quest available over there. Uh, my car is now up over that side. I've got a plow. Oh, fix one of the buildings is available up in town. So we could go and do that. And we've got a plow. Yeah, the plow the field for. Right, we're going to go to town next and we're going to do the fix the building quest. I'm just going um, we're, we're going to do it like this. We're, we're going we're gonna to cheat. There we go. Click to enter. And... We're away, right. Uh, you know, I actually need to turn around. So we're going to go over to town, and we're going to do that bit. I'm going to take a shortcut across here. Just to have a little drive around a bit on my way over to town. I'll tell you what, even more, tell you what, if I go like this, I'm going to put a little star right there somewhere. There we go. So that I can see that, and then I can drive towards it, and hopefully find a chest somewhere around here on the way over. That would be really cool. Um... And then I'm thinking, well, we've got the we've got the cultivating done in our first field. I'm not going to start any more ploughing, but I think what we might do is we might go and get the seed drill, and we might um, seriously consider starting doing some actual planting, because we haven't done that yet. There's one job that we haven't done anywhere. So perhaps we ought to start moving forward with some of this. So thinking that's perhaps the next thing that we'll do. We'll see if there's anything else comes up, anything else crops up. I would also like to go to the builder's merchants and get some supplies. I want to see if we can use this truck here. I know that you can use the big new one, but I want to see if we can use this truck to get some supplies and use that to go uh, take it back to the farm and then upgrade our house a little bit. I would really like to be able to do that sometime soon and see if we can get anything from it. Well, there's a patch of darkness there, but that darkness does appear to just be a patch of darkness rather than an actual chest. See if we can jump across the railway. Okay, that wasn't overly impressive, to be honest. I was kind of thinking that we'd do it a bit like, you know, the Dukes of Hazard, and they go leaping across things. Apparently our Dukes of Hazard impression didn't come out quite so gloriously as what they did. I'm thinking that perhaps their vehicle is a little bit better than ours, and that may have contributed towards the difference in the two performances there. I'm looking around the town, and there is a question, an exclamation mark, it's not a question mark, it's an exclamation mark, over there for our quest, oh there he is, I thought maybe he'd moved over this way, but no, that's Michael over there, who have we got this time, we've got, it's David, right, David, what have you got for us, I'm hoping that you've got a decent job, I need to talk to you, hi, here you, to you, talk, he's, he's got those creepy eyes, good morning, yeah, look, see, the, the really, really bad eyes, right, I'm looking for work, got anything for I'm me, I'm looking for work, Got anything for me? A building on my farm needs some care. What do you think? I can do that. Uh, 200 euros. Right. I'm guessing that this is another one of those ones that is Sounds in town. Good. I'll take care which of this. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so we've got to go and do this one for David, and the job is over there. It's only 85 meters away, so it's this house right over here, which means that we don't need to do anything. All we do is we run up to there. Look at all these people standing there watching. That's about to work our miracle. Here we go. Uh, 14. Oh, I gotta, I gotta go round. I gotta round the back. Let's just head round here. And... Oh, there we go. There we go. There it is. And... Nailed it. Right. So that's David's place there. So I'm pretty sure it's that house there that we did for one of the women here in town last time we were here. Who was it? Was it Vera? I want to say Vera. Who, who are you? Avery. I don't think it was Avery. Don't think it was Avery. I think it was that lady over there. Is it Ella? And I really have no idea. Here's something for you. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. David and... All right, 200 euros, 400 social points. It could have been Grace. It, yeah, I really have no idea who it was. I have genuinely got no clue. Now I'm lost in town and stuck... What we need to do is we want to go back out to our vehicle, and then we're going to drive back to the farm. And I think that this is a good time to think about the next sort of stage. So yes, we will, we'll, if I can... Where is it? Where have I left it? It's over here. Let me go to that one. It's a lot quicker if we just do it like that. Uh, I'm going to drive around the north, side of the, far, uh, the north side of the town, not the farm. And then once I've finished driving around here, we're going to... Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go straight back home and... Definitely think, yeah. I see. I'm I'm torn with the with the doing the, the building, but I'm thinking no. I don't want to spend the extra money on it just yet. We'll wait. We'll save the money. I want to buy the tractor. It's the, it's the bigger tractor that I want more than anything else. So if we get back, we can get our small little tiny tractor that we've got, and we can take that one 
Uh, we probably need to get some fuel, and we want to get our seed drill from, I think it's down the bottom of the map, and then we bring that one back, and then we can start worrying about the next jobs. I just seen something there. Come back over here. There it is. I knew I'd seen it. Mushroom. Got one right there, so I grabbed that one. And did I see another one over here? I thought I did somewhere. I've sort of been looking around slowly for mushrooms and strawberries. I've yet to find a strawberry. I mean, I've probably gone right past them without realising that they're even there. There's another one. So, yeah, I... The mushrooms I can spot, the mush mushrooms I can see, and there's another one. Uh, but it's the it's the strawberries. I really want to be able to find a strawberry, just so that we can see what it looks like. See if we get any more money for it from the uh, from, from the bloke. What's his name? Is it Henry? I'm sure it's Henry. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep forgetting his name for this entire series. You realize this? I will never be able to remember his name properly. I think it's Henry, but I'm not 100% certain. He's probably gonna get upset with me. I keep forgetting his name. I've I've been doing business with him for a while now. I provided him with things. He's provided me with things. You know, we, we've got a, a good business relationship, but I still can't remember his name. He is going to be disappointed with me, isn't he? He's definitely going to be a little bit annoyed about this. Uh, never mind. There's nothing that we can do about it. We will just have to gloss over it by continuing to provide him with lots and lots of goodies from the farm, which he buys from us for a criminally marked down price and then sells on for a criminally marked up price. So I think he's doing all right out of this particular business relationship. Um, and he's got no leg to stand on and can't complain to us at all about anything for any reason. Now, let's go into this one. I think we'll just move this... Actually, where do, uh, I, I can leave that one there and it's not going to be in the way. We'll leave that one there. And we are now going to slowly make our way over to where the seed drill is with our tractor. And we'll grab that seed drill and we'll bring it back. I think I'm going to have to go and buy some seed though. There's a plow the field quest right there. It's down here that I want to go. So I need to go... I want to go out onto our farm and then I want to head up to that crossroads and then head straight down here. There is the marker right there. I need to head towards that marker. Certainly not the quickest way to get around the countryside using this battered old tractor. Our lovely little uh, Jack Bear. I was going to call it a John Deere, but it's not a John Deere. We don't want... We, we, we're not driving a John Deere. We, we, we don't want to be done with copyright infringement. This is not a copyright infringement. We're driving a Jack Bear. Now, can I get through that gateway with this tractor? Uh, ho -ho, we could just squeeze in. Where? Oh, it's over there. I don't even know where it was. If we head over to this side. I'm curious if there are any chests lying around this guy's farm. He's got... All of that is wide open. It's like he's building a new one there and hasn't actually done anything to it yet. It would seem that the machinery isn't fully uh, like rendered into the map until you actually hitch it on. That's kind of useful to know could actually make a, a difference to us a little bit later on. Right, let's hitch that one on. Oh, I see. It's got to come in quite a bit closer. This is a very old-fashioned cedar, this one is. This doesn't have any kind of PTO on it. This is purely a land-driven cedar. So it doesn't really matter how fast you drive with the thing. It's, um, it, the seed will drop from the seed box along the top into the ground based entirely on the speed that you're traveling along the ground so if you're going really really slow the seed will just trickle down if you're going faster the seed will go faster obviously there is like a limit on the speed but um yeah it's it's kind of this is not it, it's not really crucial that you go at a set speed because i know that there are some um seed drills where it trickles through at a set rate so there is a very specific speed that you need to advance forwards you need to drive your tractor forwards those seed drills you don't get quite so many of them though most seed drills are actually land driven one way or another so the seed trickles through at a um at a rate according to how fast you're traveling across the ground it's so that you don't get a much thicker crop when you're driving downhill compared to turning around and driving back up the hill again so um, almost all seed drills are entirely uh, are based on being land driven. You still have uh, you still have moving parts on them that are driven by the PTO, but the speed that the seed trickles through is based on the um, the speed that you travel over the ground. Um, and yeah, I know that there are some seed drills that don't have that, but I believe they're very very few and far between. Now we've got this one back to the yard, back to the farm. The issue now is, do we have any seed anywhere? Um, there's the little there's a little shed over there. I don't think we can put the main grain that we've harvested into this one. I don't think it works like that. So we're going to need to go and I think we do actually have to buy seed for this one to work rather than buying just using grain and filling it up. 
So I'm going to need to... Well, it's this one here. I think this is where we get the seed from. It's in here. But do we have any? This is this is the big question. Uh, magazine. Seeds of fertilizers bought in a store can go here. Right, if I go there... Um, hmm. How do I load it up? Unhitch cedar. No, I don't want to unhitch the cedar. If I can... Can I uh, back it in, maybe? We'll try backing the seed drill in there. Really, really bad driving. We'll jackknife it round and um, try and obliterate the hitch on it. Uh, rip the wheels sideways, damage those as well. Um, yeah, you're just generally what Frithgar does when Frithgar gets anywhere near any machinery these days. Especially when it's sliding sideways like this. It's not supposed to slide sideways. It's supposed to stay in a steady, steady line. Right, we'll stop there. Um, enter. Oh, I see. Right, we could just go closer. If I, I'm going to climb off of that one. I'm going to climb off. I think we could have just driven up alongside it. So if I go over to here... No, no. Uh, oh, we need to be on said Jack Bear. So now if I go enter... There we go. Right, seed store. There's 750 kilos of wheat. We don't have anything else. So, uh, fill with fertilizer. Fertilizer in stock. I don't know if I... No, I can't use fertilizer in this one. Right, we could just drive past it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to climb off of here... And it's actually starting to get a bit late. What time is it? Uh, 6 days, 10 to 5. Is the dealership open a, a set time only? We've got that one, an agricultural store. It doesn't actually give a time. Oh, there was the other thing I wanted to find out was how much fuel is left in our tractor. Oh, 45%. Do we have fuel here on the farm? It's one thing I'm not sure about. We've got a pantry down there. I've got a bed up there. I've got chickens. I got that one over there. Where is the nearest fuel station? I've got that up there. It's fuel is... I think fuel is actually a long way away. We've got fuel all the way over here. Gas station over there. It doesn't look like I've got fuel on the farm. Okay, that seems a little strange. Oh, hang on. No, no. There's fuel. There's the home fuel tank. Fuel tank in... Fuel in stock, 40 litres. So I can do that. I can actually get fuel sent here as well. Um, I think we will go out here we want to get some seed the seed that i want to get specifically is canola but i'm saying well i'm saying canola because we've already got canola in store but i'm actually thinking that peas would be interesting 891 euros a ton um it doesn't look like the prices fluctuate on this map so i'm, I'm quite happy with that i'm thinking we go for peas we will go for peas so we want to go over there we want to go to that agricultural store over there so if i just run over to the bus shelter and we go to the agricultural store there's a deer I'd really like to shoot that deer. Every time I see it, I, 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 I do admire nature running along, but I also think that that would look really good with gravy. Um, yeah. I need help. Possibly. <laughs> Let's go down here to this one and see what we can find. I want to buy some pea seeds. That's all I need. Just a few peas. We go in here. We've got all the cows and all the chickens that we can get. I'm hoping that later on we will be able to expand our property just a little bit and then we'll be able to... May stored in farm storage price uh, 100 kilos is 36 euros. So we want to come down here. Peas, that one right there. Um, I can get 987 kilos for 755 euros. 800, yes. Uh, it's, what is it? 67 euros per 100 kilos. And then if I get 100 kilos here, it's actually... 70 something euros oh no i'm looking at the right i'm, not, I'm looking at this one I'm busy looking at canola no it's 76.5 uh, all right let's let's go for it let's just go for a full thing of peas we'll go for that 750 euros and i'm not going to get anything else at the moment i don't know if i actually need fertilizer or not not actually certain about that one at the moment let me go over here and i go back to that's my place this is where i live i think is it is it Yes, it is. We've come to the right place. It's okay. All is good. Have we got any strawberries over here near the water? Maybe we can find a strawberry and we can sell it to Henry. No. No strawberries there. Or not that I can see. So now we go back over here and we should, in theory, be able to put some peas into that seed drill. But we've got to do it whilst we're on the Jack Bear. I don't know how many the seed drill takes. So let's just jump back onto here. There we go. Enter magazine. And we've got peas. Fill the seed. Oh, it takes 300 kilos. Right, it'd be interesting to find out how much he takes. Uh, right, if I come out of I come out of there and I get off the tractor again, we'll leave that one there. We're going to go and sleep the night. 
It'd be interesting to find out um, how far that 300 kilos goes when we start um, sowing the peas in the field there. Oop, oh, I don't want to go down there. I will have to have some food in the morning as well. Let's go and get some sleep. It is a bit early for sleep, but I think it's all right. We can, we can do this. Some new eggs in the hen house. I do like the glorious music we have when we wake up in the morning. It, it's, it's quite comforting. I, I, I'm, I'm very appreciative of this music for when we wake up in the morning. Uh, right, if I go there, can I eat several eggs? No, I can't. I was, I was wondering if I could eat like several eggs all at once. Uh, I'm going to leave that for a second. So on food is 96. So I can actually go back to the map. We should get, so we've got plow the field, plow the field, and plow the field, and transport. We might do transport next time. I don't think we'll do transport. We're going we're gonna to be looking at the seed, the seed drill in a minute. So let me come back into here. And it seems to be that the eggs are always in the same boxes, or mostly in the same boxes. So we go through. I, we've already seen this several times now. So if I just go through very quickly and gather up all of the eggs, we can then... Um, oh, and I'll, I'll go and do the milking as well. And then we can go and take a look at the seed drill. Just two cows left, and then the milking will be finished. That cow seems to be broken. I'm quite sure what's wrong with the poor girl, but that doesn't seem like it's supposed to be quite right. Still, never mind. Just that one left there, and the milking is done. Okay, how much milk have we got now? We've got 120 eggs, 55 litres of milk. We're not doing too bad. Um, I'm not going to go and sell that now. We'll, we'll just keep hold of it for now. It would be very cool if we could find a way to process the milk. I think that really the only way that you can process the milk or process anything is if you have a wife and then she makes things for you as um you know you go out and she makes tasty treats for you so she does actually make those things so yeah if we want to actually do anything with the milk we're going to need to find a wife and then she will do it for us probably a good job because you know i, I there are things that i'm good at and there are things that i'm not so good at and i know that i'm not very good at, ki at cooking so you know what i do i keep myself out of the kitchen it's it's safer that way it's, it's better that's what we should do uh right now how do i actually oh it's 99%. This is, I'm I'm planting. You don't actually need to do any. There's no um, there's nothing that you need to do to like engage the seed drill or anything like that. I'm planting at 23 kilometers an hour. So planting is pretty quick, pretty efficient. There is there is no issues to be found here with the planting. We will get this done in no time at all. I'm kind of I am curious though if the peas should actually be. I think I think peas are supposed to be a spring crop, not uh, not a winter crop. So. We may have a bit of a problem here. I may have to go and replow the field and then replant the field and then re sow the field. Um, uh, re, re cultivate and then re sow the field, which is. Uh, that's not really what we want to do. So, I'm. Um, yeah. Maybe I've jumped the gun on this one. <laughs> this is where everybody floods into the comments section to say, Frith, you idiot! What are you playing at? You don't do that now. Peas are a spring crop. Well, everybody knows that. What are you thinking? What are you playing at? Um, yeah, and now that I think about it, I'm pretty certain that um, there are no winter peas. I'm pretty certain that all peas are spring crops. I don't think there is any winter peas. We may, yeah, well, we'll find out. We'll see how they do through the winter. It might be that this particular seed drill, it might be, yeah, it might be at this particular place doesn't have particularly aggressive winters and so we are able to plant ordinary winter crop uh, ordinary spring crops in the autumn well late summer you know, te technically this is late summer but you know you, you know you know exactly what I mean you, you know exactly what we're doing um so yes it, it's going to be interesting to find that one out I really I really shouldn't have done this though should I uh, I I should know better than this come on I'm, I'm supposed to have been a farmer and if I do things like this, nobody's actually going to believe that I've ever been anywhere near a farm. And I can't say that I would blame you, to be honest. This, this, this was a, ro a rookie mistake. This, this is the sort of thing that you'd expect a, um, a city slicker to do. Somebody who knew nothing whatsoever about farming would come along and plant their peas at this time of year and then scratch their heads and look all confused when their peas died in the middle of winter. Um, so, yeah, my bad. My bad. Still, I'm going to try and... Let's, let's see if we can back this thing up properly. We come up like that and round a bit more. Very difficult to back this thing. It's very savage on its um, turning circle. So seed drilling and cultivating is exceptionally quick. We don't have any problems with that. It's, it's just going to happen really, really fast. 
Uh, it says that cultivating on this field is only 99%, which seems a little bit odd. I'm not sure which single percentile that we missed. Uh, however, it's doing all right. We're on 56, 57% uh, peas on this field now. I'm up through there. We've got 45% left in the seed drill, so I think we'll end up with exactly one field planted with one seed drill full of seed, which is a pretty good ratio. That, that does mean that we're going to get through it reasonably quickly. We're going to be able to do things efficiently and well. Um, I've just got to make sure that I don't miss little bits. Because the last thing we want is to miss little tiny bits, and I, I don't know if it plants it there. I've missed a bit there, I can see. There's a little tiny, there's a few like little spots that I missed. I knew I drifted there slightly. I didn't know if I drifted too much. It turns out that I did. If I just go back over that like that. And then I come back up this way. Like that. And we can just fill in this last piece right up through there. There we go. Okay, nailed it. Ideal. Perfect. I'll bring that one on round. And that one up through there like that. Right, that's perfect. And then we can carry on. Um, once we've done this, we will call it a day for today. And then next week, we're going to carry on and do a few other things. I may plow this field next to us next week. Um, it shouldn't take too long. The plowing was reasonably efficient. What I will be doing, though, is I'm going to be doing as many quests as I can for other people. I figure that's a, a pretty good way of earning some cash. Uh, so we will do as many quests as we can. I'm... Seriously considering doing a plowing quest for somebody else. I don't know if I should though. I don't know if I should spend my time doing uh, plowing our own field or if I should do a plowing quest for somebody else because that should in theory then open up a cultivating quest as well because there are now cultivating quests that we can get. So if I can get one of those then that's, I'm, I'm kind of liking that idea. I really am. I'm thinking that's actually going to be a pretty good, uh, a very good idea actually. It'll also mean I hope that it would open up some seed drilling quests, although I don't think they've added them into the game yet. I think that is still on the to-do list. Uh, but yeah, if it does add in the seed drilling quest, I mean, although, are we going to have to go and supply the seed for this job? If we have a seed drilling quest, like, it looks like the plowing quest, we've got to take our own plow to go and do it. So it stands to reason that the cultivating quest, we'd have to go and take the cultivator ourselves to do it. I figure that the cultivating quest would be better value for money because we can do them so much faster. Um, but then a seed drilling quest, are we going to have to supply the seed? And does that mean that a field bigger than this one right here that I'm doing now, is that going to end up being more difficult to do? Because, you know, we're going to, uh, will we do some seed drilling and then, oh, I think I've missed a piece. Yes, I have. I missed a tiny bit there. Um, you, you drill until you run out of seed. Have we then got to run all the way back here to our farm in order to top the thing back up with seed? Uh, before we can go back out and uh, finish doing the seed drill quest. I'm curious about this. So also then it's, you know, is there a way to carry seed around with you? Or is are you just literally stuck with having to go back to the farm in order to do it? Because if there's a seed drill quest, then, you know, I mean, ideally you'd want the seed drill quest to be coded in such a way. It'd be worked in such a way in the game so that you don't have to do anything other than... Um, go and do the quest. You know, they supply the seed for you. Even if they've got, like, a, a place... Oh, I'm busy going around in circles. I've run out of seed. My seed drill is empty. I've got a little strip in the middle of the field there that we still need to do. So I'm going to go and I'm going to top this one up with peas. And we can get the last little tiny bit and we'll also be able to find out if we've got to go a long distance or if we've got to just, like, go really close. Uh, go a long distance. I was suddenly thinking about... Um, traveling backwards and forwards with the seed drill again and I realize what I said makes absolutely no sense whatsoever no it's not whether we go long distance it's whether we can do it like this can I do it like this if I go to there if I bring that seed drill over this way I don't think I can no it's not giving me that option I think I do actually physically have to put it in here I've got to back it in there back it round still saying still not giving me an option Ah, there we go. Now it's giving me an option. Enter magazine. So it looks like we've got to back it in there, which is a little bit difficult. Right. Uh, I want peas, and we've it's literally just fill the cedar. You don't have an option by the look of it to not fill the cedar. I, I mean, maybe we've got an option later on to empty the cedar. I don't know. Now, let me look at this. This one's on 100%. I'm going over land that I've already done, and it's gone down to 99%, but that might... No. 
Okay, that's interesting to note. It double seeds. Even though we have already planted this bit with seeds, it's going over it and the seeds are actually dropping from the seed drill. So it doesn't matter where I go and how I do it. I'm continuously planting seeds. So unless I do this like really efficiently, there's no way of turning the seed drill off. That's actually not good. I don't I don't actually like that at all. I don't, I, this, is, this is one thing that I don't like. We cannot turn the seed drill off. There's no way to disengage it. I'm going to bring that up through there. Right, so now I've got the field is 99. It's saying 99.17. There is a little bit more somewhere in this field of peas. I need to find it. Where is it? I'm going to go right around the very edge like this. Uh, there's a little bit. There was some crop back there. It's all the way up this side by the look of it. There's just a little tiny strip up through here that we didn't quite get. So we should be able to go sown 100%. Any minute now. Go on. 0 0.7. 0 0.8. 0 0.9. Come on. You can do it. 0 0.9. There we go. Don't tell me that I've missed a little tiny bit on that last corner. There is point is 90 to, oh there we go there we go there we go is it going to make it is it going to make it are we are we going to get the 100% I really want this to go to 100% I'm going to be disappointed if it doesn't I think I missed a bit up in the top corner <laughs> 99.96% of this field is sown with peas there is 0.04% of this field that does not have peas sown into it and I think but maybe, just maybe, it's here. Did I not get that corner properly? No, I did get the corner properly. No, it's not there. And I did that bit all right as well. It looks like we're stuck with it, ladies and gentlemen. We are not going to get 100%. We are going to get 99.96%. Which is ultimately a little bit disappointing. Never mind. That is all we got time for today, though. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.